This is part six of the ZBrush video tutorial series, Building the War Sloth. For this part, we're actually inside of Maya. Uh, and you'll see here that I've imported uh, the model, which I'd created previously inside of ZBrush. We're going to do a couple of modifications to it, adding in hands and feet, also adding in a little bit of detail for the mouth, and creating some eyes. Uh, I'm going to start off with the mouth, and you'll notice my big problem is that I just don't have anything inside the mouth right now. I'll grab the Select Border Edge tool, which will allow me to take all those edges very quickly, and I'll hit Extrude the selected component, allowing me to bring these faces backwards. I'll extrude them, I'll scale them just a little bit, and I want to just try and very quickly build the inside of this mouth. Again, I'll hit Extrude, and move these back downwards, just so that no matter what angle I look, I really can't see inside of the form. And there we go, that should get that working pretty nicely. I'll soften my normals. That'll allow me to check how my shading is working. We'll jump ahead a little bit here to where I've already modeled some hands and feet. Uh, now I've modeled these on, I've duplicated them over. Uh, I just have to attach them. Uh, so we'll turn on the wireframe here. You'll see my goal when modeling these was to try and match the topology as good as I possibly could to the, um, from the hands to the body, from the feet to the body. They're not going to be exact, and so there's going to be a little bit of mismatch, perhaps, but uh, you'll see we'll be able to fix that pretty easily. To be able to append these, I first have to go to Mesh Combine, which you saw I just did. That'll make these one model. And whenever I do that, I make sure I delete my history right away. I can grab two vertices and just go to Merge Vertex and kind of sew up that gap. Instead of mer using Merge Vertex, I can also use the Append Polygon tool to create a junction between these. Uh, it's really your preference which you prefer to do. Uh, and I'm going to use the Append Polygon tool for this process. I'm going to continue just appending these on. I'm going to do this for the hands, and I'm going to do this for the feet as well. Uh, and that's going to allow me to close up all these gaps. When I'm done, I'll probably use the Relax brush in the Sculpt Geometry tool to kind of sew up those gaps and really uh, spread out the polygons a little bit more. Uh, we'll jump ahead here to the uh, more completed version. There we go. I've got the hands and feet in place. Uh, and you'll see the topology works. Uh, and it just takes a little bit of relaxing to get that to function properly. Uh, when we're done though, all we're going to do is select the model, uh, go to File and choose Export. And we can bring this back to ZBrush, where in Part 7 we're going to look at projecting the detail from the uh, original model to this new model, which has hands and feet.